Melissa from Rome Wise, your go-to guide to Rome. On today's video, I've got a very special thing to show you inside the Pantheon. This video is a little bit particular, unlike my other videos, because we are only going to focus on this phenomenal event that happens on September 4th every year inside the Pantheon. to my channel, Rome Wise is your go-to guide to Rome where I bring you the best of Rome and sometimes beyond with lots of great things to see and do, plenty of great places to eat and drink, and some secret spots along the way. And I would definitely consider this a secret spot in a way. Let's go. So visiting the Pantheon anytime is such a treat. I love coming in here. I'm gonna keep this video relatively short because I wanna focus on one specific thing, which is the use of this building in ancient Rome. So the light comes into the Pantheon from the oculus, which is the nine meter hole in the ceiling. And it is the only source of light of the whole building besides the doorway, of course. Obviously, depending on the time of day and the time of year, the light that comes in through the oculus, it sweeps around the oculus and sometimes it's higher up, sometimes it's lower down. During the summer, obviously, it goes straight down and it hits the floor. There are a couple of times of year, however, when the light does this extraordinary thing, including today, September 4th, which was a day in ancient Rome to honor Jupiter Optimus Maximus, the most important deity at the time. There was a temple to Jupiter on Capitoline Hill. Pretty cool. Isn't that amazing? You can see this phenomenon a few other times of the year. On It does this also on April 7th. It does a similar thing on April 21st, which is Rome's birthday. And on April 23rd, there, which is Augustus's birthday, there's actually a similar phenomenon, but the big splotch of light is slightly above the arch. There's a lot of scholarly debate about the pantheon of Hadrian that we know today and the original Pantheon that was built under the reign of Emperor Augustus. One point of contention regards the shape and the orientation. I will suffice to say in this video that it is very likely that the original Pantheon built under Augustus by Agrippa actually was very similar to the shape of the current Pantheon and faced north the way the current Pantheon faces north. One of the reasons that we think that the Pantheon of Augustus made by Agrippa was of the same shape and orientation as the current Pantheon is because the phenomenon we are about to witness happens on September 23rd, which is the birthday of Augustus. It goes towards the door and the Pantheon acts not as a sundial, but as a meridian line, which tells us the time of year. So in the winter, you've got the winter uh, solstice and the sun is really low in the sky, the Pantheon's light shines on the coffered ceiling very close to the oculus because the angle is very, very steep. And on today, which is Augustus's birthday, we are gonna see this light go right past the doorway, shine through the grill above the doorway, but under the arc, and it will shine outside. Now we have to imagine that this would have made the emperor seem godly. I hope you've enjoyed this video about the Pantheon and some of the amazing things that happen here throughout the year because of the Oculus. If you're interested in ancient Rome, don't forget to check out my playlist about ancient Roman sites to see in Rome, in particular, the Mausoleum of Augustus, which faced directly across from the Pantheon. Check it out.